Hi there, everyone, for tuning in. Thank you in advance. If it's, um, well, I will say your very first time on this channel. My name is Natalie. I am a starseed reader, oracle, medium, Scorpio. This is your June read. And I was already getting some downloads in from your guides when I was working with your energy uh, before I turned the camera. Now I'm seeing a color emerald green right here, really, really bright right there. Some of you here, I was just hearing it real strong from the guys that you need you need something real. Um, maybe you've been dealing with some sh rather shallow characters, okay, recently. Um, maybe, you know, there are people here who, I hope it's not the case, but could have put you so-called under the circle bus uh, with, with something here. But I feel like you're just at this point where I'm hearing you don't want any drama. You just want something real. It's like, I don't want to have you know, a debate about it. I see someone who looks exactly like Chris Brown right here. Take it as you will. Um, I don't want to make like a big whole situation about it. I just, I just want something real. Um, I'm hearing something about candy. It's like, I've had enough candy. I, I need like a real meal now. So now when I was again meditating, I was seeing that some of you could have been dealing something really grossed you out, Scorpio. It's like, I feel like you've been dealing with someone possibly who's a bit shallow. Um, they could have a lot of Taurus or Capricorn in their chart, I hear that, okay? And shadow, obviously. Not all Taurus or Cap is gonna be necessarily um, shallow, but yeah, uh, I see a um, Mercedes symbol here, take it as you will. Something just, you feel like someone really, you saw the, you saw the, the, the side of them that you needed to, to, to know enough of them in relation to what you see for yourself as, um, future okay future potential future you know for you you know what has potential and what doesn't and uh i think that you definitely closed a door with the king cups leading out of the queen of swords you could have blocked someone there could have been a major ending here with someone okay so with that king cups leading out you're ready for what's real and was that the queen of cups oh my god we just flipped right to it again so yeah there's something here that you know is what you're expecting okay let's say of a lifetime partner or it can be, you know, anyone really. I mean, you know, it's like, I just need something that's going to last. I need something real. Um, I can't, you know, be investing in something that's going to give give in in like a day or two. So it's about the long term, which is what's on your mind. Ace of Swords upright. Yeah, you're um, very inspired. Actually, I see you getting close to having a decision made about something in relation to your next maybe partner. So some of you, you're thinking about, okay, a long term. And um, yeah, with, with, uh, uh, is it someone specific? We'll see. But you're definitely at this point where, yeah, yeah, you know exactly, actually, with the Empress leading out in the first week, you could have been playing a little bit of a, like a poker game here with this person, um, as most Scorpios do. They love they love that, that dance, uh, right? <laughs> In the very beginning, especially of a connection, it's, yeah, there's always that phase with the Scorpio. Uh, but I feel like you know who they are uh, with the Empress leading out and the Queen of Wands in reverse. I feel like you're just like, I don't, I don't want to go down that road that I maybe have in the past that led to, yeah, the short whole short-term thing. I hear the name Alex. It's funny because Alex is a four-planet Scorpio. Alec as well, I hear. A-L-E-C. So I see you have a reunion here in the second week. This may manifest six months down the line. Do, do keep that in, 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 your, in, in the back of your mind just as well. Okay, so this is going to be someone who... I do see a proposal coming for someone. This is... Um, this is it. I'm hearing the song uh, by Natalie Cole. This will be, woo, no lasting love. This will be the magician and the ten of cups. Yeah, you know what's gonna make you happy. You know what makes you happy. I'm seeing an ice cream cone with like it's like soft serve with like a little swirl on top. Um, yeah, you know, you know what's taking you there. You know what's what has the potential. What had well, you know. I, I can tell when a car got a half tank, a full tank, empty. Yeah, so there's something about your intuition here as well. It could be screaming at you like, this is what you need to invest in. This is going to, you know, this is the long, the long home. Man, I hear that as well, that you're looking for. Um, you could come across someone who you end up just sort of like, just knowing in your bones, like, this is my man, this is my person, I know this person just without even knowing them, I know that this is who they really are, inside is the person that I would want to spend my, my, my later years with, the Ace of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Ace of Wands, wow, I'm going to song to the end of the road, beautiful, beautiful, the Empress in the first week, some of you, yeah, this is definitely a confession, some of you, if you're an Empress with the Ace of Swords, you could be receiving that Ace of Swords from a King of Cups, Scorpio, 
okay? With a lot of Taurus. They could have Taurus. You could also have Taurus. Okay, you could be Taurus Leo. Receiving a confession from a Scorpio. I'm hearing, especially if they have maybe some Scorpio Capricorn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with Gemini. So I see a Gemini Scorpio confessing to a Taurus Leo. Now, okay, moving on. I feel like there's some kind of major event. Um, this is the person that you will have a long-term, long-term, like a bonafide marriage with. Some of you, this is a proposal coming, okay, with the Two of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Three of Swords upright. Um, you could be letting go one person, Scorpio, and committing to another. And this is something that will be a bit like of a, ooh, ah, oh my, you know? Some people are gonna, ooh, that's too hot, ouch, you know? Oh, oh wow, this is like just the perfect temperature. And some people, yeah, they're just gonna swim away. I don't even know what's going on here. Okay, so some people though really are going to want to invest in this. I don't know for everyone, it could be a project. You know, you're like, this is what I want. This is what I wanna do, like take it or leave it. Maybe you had to choose on, anyhow, the point is that you're putting something out there and you're receiving input as well, I do see that. And um, you know, you're not shy. It could be the type of thing where it's like, I don't, I'm not worried about anymore like what this decision is going to really mean, although it will mean something. I mean, everything means something, you know, whoever you're walking around with, you'll garner some sort of attention around and some people will um, boo and some people will be like, whoa, beautiful, you know? So there's something that you're making a choice with. Okay, let's put in the hard shop or maybe you're getting a new car. It's like, what's the car that I want? You know, try not to think about what people see it as, you know, maybe there's something that you're gonna like driving and you're gonna enjoy actually, you know, but then there's the, the car maybe that's more flashy or however, or you know, it's like, well, this is the, uh, this car would last like two years for me. I don't know, you'll know, you'll know in the emperor here with the judgment card. It's like, maybe, you know, this color wouldn't really, uh, I'm probably gonna get tired of this color like pretty soon. So I don't wanna invest in this car, even though I love it and I feel like I love it for like a week, like I love it like crazy, but I don't think that I would love it forever. So there's something here um, that you really have to like think about, okay, maybe even it is about like remodeling something. It's like, what would I love, 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 and not just like, you know, know what what is it that I would love okay so I see someone here yeah I'm hearing um this is this is about being good to you you know maybe even there are decisions that you feel would make other people happy okay like but it's all within a short-term capacity when you're really genuinely happy that happiness is what survives okay the actual dimension of experience it's what you know people feed off of when you're fake happy and you're just emitting a vision and an image of what you're doing people don't really get much from that okay it's like they're not inspired truly um regardless of what you may think you know people can follow so oh my god i love this person but if they're not actually helping them elevate inspire them truly there's not really much transformation so some of you here this is about the alchemical decisions that you make in your life to also serve this collective so what is it that not helps me in a way where i can also give to others what is it that makes me feel not only like turned on but also excited in in a way that i can sort of really invest back into the people who i really care about and this is about maybe not just garnering clout but being genuine and being authentic and sort of creating a world that is real so it's giving me gemini's read a little bit i'm seeing this white mercedes doing circles it's making me think of that purple umbrella in Gemini's read that was doing circles. So yeah, go check out the Gemini read. There could be some important clues there for you as to what this um, situation is here now. But yeah, I am getting here uh -huh, in the crown. I'm getting here that, um, you know, there are the decisions in life that sort of make you feel exhilarated. But um, you know, it, it's like, what makes me popular, but does that popularity actually make me feel good? Do you know what I'm saying? So it's understanding maybe even like, what is it that this is? And it could be from working backwards from a point of decision, maybe that's already been made. You know, it's like you try all something. Okay, am I going to want this? Like, how long will I want this for really? Realistically, like, you know, maybe it's fun for a week. Again, I hear that, but, um, I really do see something about a car for some, like legit, literally, um, some of you deciding i see a white tesla and i see a white mercedes so anyhow yeah uh some of you here you know some of you have made a decision in the past and it really didn't go well for you and you're like i just don't want that that's all i know like i don't want to have 
that situation happen again where I really, yeah, I invested a lot in that actually. And it ended up leading me down a road where it was, I mean, that wasn't worth it at all. Like, I don't, I don't want to ever experience that. So maybe you were a bit traumatized even by something. I'm seeing a cactus here, like a pretty big cactus. Maybe something here grew out of control even. And at a certain point, you know, you're just like, I'm going to be very careful before I start anything like that ever again. And it's going to really, really be important how something not only starts off, but leads out. I see a, a guy walking with a camera. Like with a, yeah. So something here about travel, which is like a loop that you wear around your neck. Some of you here, like, you know, you're kind of even disappointed, okay? about a decision of the past and i feel like you're trying to make peace with this so that you're not in this like resentment energy but so that you are allowing yourself to sort of learn from that example and not feel so triggered around it like maybe there was a decision that you did make and like it ended up not being the right decision for you but it's not about having the sort of like regretfulness around it where you're sort of allowing it to still fester and be an issue and uh that makes me again think of the gemini reading so go check out the gemini reading scorpio but yeah i'm seeing like a big briefcase here and i see someone switching wearing a yellow dress standing on the top of this building. So yeah, some of you here, you're really <laughs> in the crown. You're really um, kind of curious, honestly, at a certain point. It's like, I wonder what this would turn into. Like, I am curious to see what this would become. And there is curiosity, but then there's a tinge of fear. Like, there's a tinge of, well, what if, um, yeah, I mean, like, it ends up being like the last time. That's what I'm hearing. So there's something that you're careful around. You're, you're sort of sit standing and taking, like, really careful, cautious steps uh, surrounding whatever the space is. You're not really, really wanting to make a decision, I'll be honest. I don't see you wanting to make this decision. I feel it's something, though, that you have have to sort of um, want to make a decision with me at the end of the day because it's going to be better for you in the long term to make this decision rather than not and so it's kind of giving me like what is going to make this decision okay for me okay um, like what will make it easier for me and those are the clues that you're going to be thinking about what am I making the decision for who are those people that I make the decision for? Uh, because, you know, if you made the decision based on your lust, I hear it like this. If you have even like a short term, really reactive energy, if you have a lot of Aries and you're just sort of jumping the gun and being very impulsive, then if that's your parameter, then you're making the decision. It's easy. But it's like, what are those decisions that then make the decision process for me, um, you know, the one that I want it to be, which is about the long term. And so you're thinking backwards, like sort of um, tracing backwards from the point of the question. What is it that I really, really love? love and that I really live for and if you start at that starting point then in a way this this decision is is just as easy as if it were to be made based on my impulses so there's something that you're sort of really um learning more about yourself through the process of I feel that you're also needing to cultivate patience which is interesting in a Scorpio reading to detail because Scorpio you're a fixed water sign I mean you don't have to really yeah it's not it's not something we we're talking about here right when it comes to patience but the thing about Scorpio is that the theme of patience um, tends to change when we do see Mars, okay? Your co-ruler um, stirred, okay? And out of sorts. When Mars is out of balance, um, then you may you may make impulsive decisions that are coming from a place where you feel um, avoidance of power, okay? Where you feel like you're avoiding what you really want and there's this tension, this frustration and we end up acting more impulsively. So I was like, why am I making that impulsive decision? Why did I make that impulsive decision in the past? What, why, why did I do that? You know, what do I really want? Um, is it really that thing that I thought I wanted even in the impulsive space of decision making? Or was that kind of like another factor acting out in this indirect sort of way? Okay, like in the crown, like was it really that I was hungry for this? Or was I just sort of having tension? Was it hunger? Was it tension? Was it hunger? Was it thirst? There's something that you're sort of figuring out. I see someone walking with a big surfboard under their arm. You're, you, yeah, you're going to get um, the kinks sort of ironed out okay some of you are realizing like that something's also not making sense like i thought i wanted that but then every time i do that then i'm not really happy and it's not really you know leading me down to a path that is um like one that i feel is my own like i feel like i'm sort of at the end of the day then serving others with those decisions that i make that i thought was really like a matter of my impulse and my drive and i really really want some of you this is about spending you know um it's about also honoring intuition all right like is this my intuition? Like before I do this or say this, is it coming from me or is it, yeah, coming from um, my shadow as well, right? Like it's, they're different. My shadow has a different voice than me. 
the real me. Um, my intuition is a voice that is there for me to make the decisions that will come about in a way that is best for all as well. If I am feeling really, really, really impulsive to make a decision that is, as I think, it good for me in the moment or however, or even if I believe it's for me in, in, a, in a good way in the long term, but it's actually going to be hurtful or detrimental to others in that moment, then uh, that's, that's, not, that's not really me. That's my shadow. So some of you here are working through the kinks of what it is that you call your passion in life, your love of life, and the reasons, let's say. Maybe you know you love something, but what's the reason for loving that thing? Some of you are sort of again, ironing out the kinks with your mentality that surrounds something that means a whole lot to you, okay? Maybe you know, you're know you sort of understanding why it is that you um, perceived of something that you loved as something maybe even even ironically, more short term. It's like, why would I classify that in my left palm position right there as something that doesn't have long term potential? When ironically, the things that I look at as not having okay, long term potential end up being the things that last longest for me in my life. Maybe there's this a little bit of like, you know, um, uh, even a defensiveness, okay, like where you've been defensive or even defiant with yourself in, in honoring what is really going on. Like, is it true that those relationships really lasted the longest when, you know, I started it out in this or that way? Some of you here, maybe you had even a philosophy of life that you just tend to disagree with, honestly, just, just flat out disagree with now that you've had a few experiences to mull over and look back on. It's like, uh, honestly, those relationships end up being, yeah, I'm seeing a you line here, uh, ended up being the shortest lived through and out. So something here is kind of, a crux and you're making more sense of it in a more um, open way with yourself like let's sit down and understand what really makes us genuinely happy what has and how i want to approach this discussion now maybe it's something of a cyclical sort of space it's like do i want to do that again you know yeah it's, is it what is it that i am feeling is it fear is it desire is it impulse is it intuition you know is it um you know um uh, impulsivity okay that's driven by my shadow by the fear of others who ha who are who are who are around me in the space what is my um interest truly in the subject matter i hear that as well um and yeah i would really go check out gemini gemini uh 17 17 on the clock in, down below somebody some of you really you know what's right for you but it's more the people that sit around um, you in the space in which you make this decision, it's almost like they're distracting you a little bit. I do see that. And these people are just like taking these pictures, like fucking really fucking bright ass light, okay, off of their com camera. And it's very annoying. Um, it's these exact, they just, that's really fucking annoying, bro. That is really fucking bright ass, bright ass. Okay, light right there that you got right there. And it's like, <laughs> so. As if this is not awkward, but yeah, <laughs> let's just, um, I'm going to just, I, I, I have no shame that, that, that camera way too fucking bright and he should know better. He's standing in the dark ass alley and he's just whatever. So yeah, I'm going to finish the read like this y'all. Okay. In true Scorpio fashion, but, um, yeah, like, um, some of you, you know, you, yeah, you're going to change the way that you handle this particular discussion. Um, it's going to maybe even be a bit jarring. And if you have a lot of Gemini in your chart, as well as Scorpio, you know, there could be this moment where you just kind of honestly change. You, you just change Scorpio and people are like, hey, like, uh, uh, you kind of change. And it's like, uh, yeah, yeah, I have changed. That's right. Maybe they knew you in the past as someone who would have been more impulsive in your, in your way of making decisions or however else. So there's something that you're just like um, admitting to yourself, Scorpio. You know, you're letting something also just be over. And it could be that, um, you know, you just don't give it, you don't give it the time of day anymore. Okay, you you let, you, yeah, that fucking light is so annoying. I can't, oh my God, no. Like, ew, bro. Like, you're just totally clueless. Oh, it's like all about them. You know, they just want to be like uh, in their own little world. Like that, that, that's too bright, bro. Mm-hmm. Anyways, okay, so yeah, they're just taking pictures of whatever, thinking they're real cool. Okay, so let's just get further now. But yeah, like, there's something, Scorpio, that um, you have to, I feel as well, yes, let go of. Like, the people maybe who would have, it's like, oh, I know all my friends would, like, you know, love me for making this uh, decision in my life. You know, maybe, oh, if I got this car, like, I have a lot more friends, whatever, just return it. 
you know, I think you all, you're starting to realize like what really is at play when you are making those decisions yet again. I hear it like that. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all are trying to like project onto you that you're, oh, you change and you're different. And all. that came through in Gemini's read. It's like, no, I haven't changed. Like I'm actually realizing that I changed for y'all. So yeah, I, the, uh, the real me is, is the me I'm going back to. So deuces and peace to you. Like we're not really in this pie together to begin with. Maybe you're even going to see people's true ass colors. I see a big cross when you make um, this decision. I'm just in the crown. I see a big feather here. Like, you're going to have to find a way as well to sort of clear certain people out of this discussion who think that they're somehow in this discussion. It's not really any of their business even. It's like, you're starting to realize, like, that, that scene in the movies where it's like, oh my God, like, you're allowing yourself to sort of be involved in my life in a way that's really inappropriate. And I can't believe I didn't see this sooner. Okay, it's like when people um, obligate you to allow them to be sort of um, way too invested in you, okay? Way too involved in your private life even, okay? So it's like you started to zoom out and, ooh, my God, I can't believe you ever would have ever expected me, okay, to see you as someone who had um, that kind of clout as well, all right? You're maybe starting to lose respect for people that you thought were the bee's knees and the all oh, this and that. So it's like you're sort of clearing, okay, mm -hmm, your intuition from the projected energy. And I can see his damn camera flash through these blinds and I'm about to just get really in right now. So I, yeah, I'm gonna have to get out of your read now, Scorpio, sorry. Like that's just too annoying. I'm seeing this guy with a maroon shirt and that makes me think of the Sagittarius reads um, that had come through like years ago. Um, anyways, you know, some of you are gonna really um, be, you're gonna be one with this decision. I see something about your finances. Um, you, yeah, this fucking camera, I can't. He's so, this guy's so narky. How many fucking pictures you need? He's taking pictures in front of this white Mercedes just standing around everyone. He just needs to feel like he's, yeah, a whole camera's wor we're all worth, yeah, worthy. It's like of attention, okay? No, no one's paying attention. We were annoyed, but the attention is the one that you're seeking, okay? So, yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, like the whole point, a Scorpio, I'm seeing a snail and a, a, um, the Capricorn. Maybe you used to be friends with people and you come back after some period. It's like, I can't believe I even like had a moment um of time that, that that i felt i owed to you okay so this is about understanding who's really in alignment with your long term and the path where you are following your 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 true your your true signature i hear it like that the heartbeat that is your own 